What's up course hero? Welcome. Today we are talking about marketing funnels. Now, when you create your newsletter account, you have access to 100 marketing funnels and the each funnel can have as many steps as you'd like it to have. So I'm going to walk you through a simple two step marketing funnel. That's going to be a webinar funnel where basically someone lands on a page also considered as a landing page. And on that page, they are, my goal is to get them to register for my webinar. And then I'm going to show them a thank you page. So let's walk through the steps needed to get that done. And I also have another video on how to design these marketing funnels. They are pretty straightforward. If you have seen my video on how to create a sales page, then you know it's the same concepts that you can use to design your marketing funnel. So with that, let's see how to build this funnel out. All right, people, what's up, Course Heroes? Today, we are talking everything marketing funnels. Marketing funnels, you get about 100 funnels that are per school with New Zender. And if you're on the pro plan in beta, that means you get three sites. So that's 300 funnels. And here's how they work. I'm going to not sit here and design the funnel. If you have watched my page designer video, if you haven't, I suggest you go check it out. In that, I show you how to design a page. And those same basic principles carry over to designing funnels. What we're going to do here is walk through creating a funnel. And in my case, I'm going to create a webinar funnel, but this could be something uh, like a ebook funnel, a free course funnel, freebie download funnel, anything that you can think of, you're going to use marketing funnels to create it. With that being said, before you create your first funnel, I would suggest that you go into email broadcasts on this tab right here and create an email list because you're going to need an email list to attach this marketing funnel to. So create that first. And once you've created the list, you can come back in here and then we can create the marketing funnel. Before we get started with funnels, the other thing to note here is this is your dashboard where you get to see the stats for all your funnels. And then if I click on this little three dots here, uh, you can clone the funnel if you wanted to. And when you are about to clone it, you're going to get a message saying that any funnel links and automations are not going to carry over, which makes sense. So just keep that in mind when you're cloning funnels. I'm not going to sit here and clone it. Just wanted to show you how that works. So let's get into my funnel. The first thing here is in funnel details, you will see that there's a funnel slug. So this URL matches the name or I would like it to match the name, but I can change the name to webinar sign up funnel. And that is not going to affect the URL. The URL changes are made on the next step, which is funnel steps. So if I go into funnel steps, a traditional lead magnet funnel, the one that we are looking at right now, comes with a two step form, which is the opt in page and the thank you page. But you can add as many steps as you need. We are also going to look at video funnels. I'm not going to show that video today. I'm not going to make a video about video funnels today. But when you go to create a new funnel, you have two options. You can do a traditional lead magnet funnel or you can do a video series funnel where each video gets unlocked on a day or two days later. So I'll be covering video series funnel in another video. Today, I want to concentrate on the lead magnet funnel because this is the most widely used funnel industry wide. And I already have created a webinar funnel. I'm going to show you the steps involved in creating those and how to go about from step to step to step. With that, let's get started. I'm going to click on my webinar sign up funnel. And in this, the first step is if I go to my funnel steps, this is where I said you can change the URL of your funnel. And what you can do is just change the ending slug of the URL. You cannot change the full URL, which is basically your domain name. Obviously, you cannot change that. And whenever there is a funnel, you will see the F in the front of it, as you can see right here. And that cannot be changed either. But everything after that can be changed. So I can change this to webinar sign up and hit update. Now I will get a reminder that anytime you update links, things might break because if you're sharing this link somewhere in an email automation, you need to go and update the link there as well. And anywhere else you have updated this link. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to go into edit form and I have two steps here. Someone comes to my page, they opt into the webinar. Once they opt into the webinar, I redirect them to a thank you page. Now, how do I do that? If I go to edit step, the most important step on a funnel is having a form with an email and a submit button. And if you don't have those two steps covered, your funnel isn't going to fire. It's not going to function. 
but another step to also remember is to link that button to the next action so i'm going to show you this page let's go to preview and see what this page looks like before i show you how to do the next step i have a header text here an icon email and a submit button and then i have my mugshot here and then also what you will discover on this webinar some social proof uh another uh, section which shows you things that new zendler can do because i want to promote the webinar about new zendler time left to register for this webinar so this is a countdown timer and then also a little more text and then another call to action button so let's see what happens if a user let me go up to this one here email and then just hit the submit button so i'm going to go ahead and hit submit now i should be brought to the thank you page perfect so your webinar your registration to the webinar has been confirmed and then i also invite people to join the facebook group uh this button isn't working i haven't linked it to anything but i just wanted to show you how this would work now let's go back into my email refresh it and here's my webinar invite that just came through as you can see all of this was pretty seamless now let's dive into how it's done i was just using a placeholder name here but you would need to put in the name field if you want them to provide you with their first name so you can personalize that in the email let's go into our editor so this is just a simple header box like a headline box and then what i did here is i added a element this was a form element and how you do that is if i hit this plus sign here i can go and add a 100 percent layout and within that layout i can add a i think i had added an input which was an email so i'm going to select input and this input is going to be in settings i'm going to set this input type as email and call this and you can see this is full full screen width you can change that so i'll show you that uh you can select your border width border color font size so i'm going to increase the font a little bit and then you cannot change the text color that's inside here because that's kind of like a placeholder text and industry standard usually that placeholder text is gray in color so you cannot change that which makes sense the next thing is i want to also add a submit button here so i'm going to click on the plus again and add a button and then this button i'm going to say same thing as below i'm going to say claim your spot and then here's where the magic happens what you want to do is choose an action and that action is going to be that whenever someone clicks on that button you want this form to be submitted you want it to be attached to an email list in my case it's going to be attached to news and webinar email list and then what's going to happen after the form is submitted that's where you're going to take them to the thank you page but you don't need the link for it because we are in funnels your the logical thing would be to just go to the next step in the funnel and you can again add as many steps as you want this is where you can add an upsell if you want it a downsell connected to your checkout cart all within new zendler next step i want to add an icon to the left i want to search for a hand icon maybe and this one right here perfect now on the button what the next thing i want to do is increase the font size and make sure this look good like this looks good on mobile so perfect it resizes itself to mobile and i'm going to go back to desktop now on desktop it's huge and i don't want it to be this big so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a new row i'm going to add a 33 33 33 row and then when you hover over this wait for the purple one because the purple one means it's an opt-in form and once you have this purple picked just drag it and drop it in the middle here i'm going to increase this a little bit so it's center aligned this is much better i can actually go one one more in from both sides i like this one it kind of mimics the one that i already had here and just like that you've created a funnel Again, I'm not going to show you all the steps that are involved in creating a page like this. For that, just watch my video on how the page editor works. It is very easy to do this. Now, what I can do is I can hit save. Before you hit save, make sure you also have all your settings here. So if you're sharing this socially, make sure you have your social image, your meta keywords, description, and also the page title. If you plan on sharing this URL somewhere other than just using it to drive ads. And now you are all set. The next thing we want to do is go into the thank you page. So I can just go there right from here. I don't need to go back. Go into my thank you page. And there it was just as simple as adding some text. Adding a button that links out to my Facebook page. And then I just added some emojis. And that was it. Now your funnel is ready. And what I can do now is also show you where that lead 
gets collected. So here was my thank you page. I don't know why the button isn't showing. We received an update today to the editor and I've noticed that some things are acting strange. So I'll have to investigate that and see why that's happening. But if I preview it, it looks fine. I think these emojis are messing things up. So I need to fix that. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the reason. So this might be my, my fault. It looks fine. Preview looks fine. This funnel is ready to go. And then you can preview the funnel. Previewing the funnel will make sure that your stats don't get bloated because you're adding a fake email just to test it out. Once you're done with that, I can go into leads and I can see all the leads that have been collected on this funnel. So you can see these are all the leads that came in and I have a site admin role because that's already connected with my email. But now the system knows, the system looks for that email in your school, whether that email is already in a database somewhere. And if it is, then it gets assigned uh, that particular role. So if your student signs up for a webinar, this will show as a student. Um, status is inactive and then I have the webinar here so I can go in here I don't know why my status was inactive but I also have a tag here so the tag is webinar so that's the next thing I'm going to show you is how do you apply tags to people who go through your funnels so let's go back into my funnel and here you can see automation that's the final step and of course one of the most powerful steps of New Zealand the features of New Zealand is automations so what you can do here is I can edit my automation rules and I can say right now the only rule I have is add a tag called webinar on subscribe and then also send them a welcome email on subscribe so you can look these two actions are live here so if I click on this action I can make it not live or I can change the name of the tag right now the tag just says webinar I can call this uh, webinar for NZZ and save changes to that. Do you want to apply this to existing leads? This is a great functionality where all the existing leads can get this action. If I say yes, I go back here and I refresh this page. My webinar tag should change to webinar for NZZ right here. So I still have the old tag, but now I have the new tag. And when I run reports, I can look for this new tag in my report. Now I can add new actions in here. So if I want to add another action, I can say whenever someone signs up for this webinar, send them an email and say this webinar is scheduled for December, uh, January 31st of 2020. I can say send them this email on January 30th and send doesn't matter 3.27 p.m. Sure, why not? And the action of this email is going to be webinar reminder. And now I can simply send them this email. All the emails are part of your news handler subscription you get 100,000 emails to send to students. So now I can use personalized tags here. I already have the first name tag to add any personalization tag. You can simply add, click on personalization and pick any of these tags that you'd like to use. So I can say the email address in here and this will automatically parse the user's email address in here. You can also add filters. Say you wanna send this email only to those people who are tagged with that particular tag, maybe you are running a funnel which are tagging people five different ways, depending on what answers they pick. You can pick filters on who to send this email to. And it's almost like a traditional email marketing platform where you have your filters, you filter out some of your leads, and then you filter the others out and send them different emails. You get to do that right here within automation. And once you have picked an action and that action, uh, you've done all the changes that you want to, you simply make this action live and now this email will go out to all your leads on january 30th a day before the webinar reminding them that there is a webinar tomorrow that you need to attend and then you can do one more the day off an hour before 30 minutes before 15 minutes before and this way all your marketing and all your automations all your courses all live under the same platform and that's just mind-blowing so then you can go to site and under site, you can look at all your leads. And this would be where all your uh, webinar leads come in. As you can see here, my leads that came in today. So you can filter these out, look at this and then get reports and then make educated decisions about where you want to go with your next step after you have done all the data and analysis. And that is what marketing funnels allow you to do. And that's pretty much it as far as marketing funnels go. I will be covering another video where I'll walk you through the video 
series and how that works. But for now, I wanted to cover the most common example, which is using a marketing funnel to give away a freebie or just give away a PDF or have a webinar sign up. One last thing I want to show you, which is also pretty cool. Let's say I create a lead magnet funnel. I can add a file. So when you're giving away like a PDF or something for free, you can upload a file. You can use a file from your media library, or you can simply provide a URL. If you're hosting your files in maybe Amazon cloud services and you just want to put that URL, you can do that. In. So here's my file. And then at the end here, you get to pick if you want to offer them a free course. So here I can offer this course product course to be launched at the end of the sequence. And then I can pick a template. There are seven pre-built templates. So let's say I pick this one, just hit finish. And now my funnel is ready. And if I go to my thank you page and preview that you will see that on my thank you page, there is an option to go to course and also download the cheat sheet. So if I go to course, I don't have to put in the work. They've already put the links to that course onto that button. The users just have to click that link and then it brings you to the course sales page. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a lot out of this. Don't forget to subscribe below and leave me a comment and let me know what you thought about this video. And I will see you on the flip side. Thank you and have a great day.